Hello vlog, it's the start of a new vlog week, yay! And I thought I'd vlog my weekend with my brother. So my brother's coming up today, which obviously you know, he's my best friend in the whole world. So he's coming up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to stay with me in London before I go away to Ibiza on Monday, which is very, very exciting. Actually, I go on Tuesday. So my brother just loves me with no makeup, so I thought I'd go and meet him today, freshly faced, because he's the only one that actually appreciates this look. Okay. Also, I look like a little bit of a tramp. I'm wearing a matching tracksuit, but I don't care because I'm going to see my brother. <laughs> Just before I get Jacob, something really exciting happened to him recently, so I'm going to get him a congratulations card and write it when I'm at the station waiting for him. Paper chase, and I don't know whether to get this card, which says congratulations because I think it's really cute, or this one because I always say yay. I'm a yay at this one because I think it's cute, like my brother. write a double card. I just do it because I've got so much love for my family. Honestly, in every single card I write double cards, but I don't care. I just, I feel like that's not even enough. I always say to my family, the words I put in cards, or the words I explain to them will just never, ever fully show how much I love them. Listen, I remember W. Smith was such a rude person. I was writing a card and I asked to borrow her pen, and can you see some of it's blue? Anyway, she was like, I need my pen back. She thought I was going to steal the pen. I was like, I'm just going to go and buy a pen. But if it's that much of an issue, so I went and bought a black one, so I couldn't find a blue one. There's these guys in the station, they're clearly drunk on like some stag do, and they're really being really nice. I thought it was a little present I'd get in this. And look how cute it has like, butterflies all over it. It has butterflies all over it because I'm a butterfly, so I thought he can plan all his things he needs to do. And then he'll also always think of me. I know that it's got butterflies, that's really girly, but I know he'll like it because he'll think it's cute. It's me all over it. Butterfly. Try and call me now, but I can see him. I can see him! I can see you! <laughs> Look at my card! Yay! I've just given Jacob his card and he hates cards, don't you? Love cards so yeah, much. Yeah, but I thought it was cute. <laughs> I love it. It's from you, so I don't care. Yay! Because Jacob's coming shopping with me to get some last minute bits for Ibiza, I'm going to take him to see Logan tonight. Woo! Yay! I've only had the claws now. Just gonna shh. Bye. You see that today? So we don't want to see Beauty and the Beast. Sorry, Hans. No, but... sorry, Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got lots of bits from Forever 21 for my journey, which is good. And I got some body chains because I wanted some, so I can wear like nice swimsuits with some body chains. I just think it makes it look a bit sexy. These sunglasses really annoy me because it makes it look like I've got no eyebrows. Ah, I put my sunglasses on because I think it's actually offensive to be out like this. And people must think, who is this weirdo? Okay, so me and Jacob are going to go to River Island now. Jacob and I. Jacob corrected me. Um, but afterwards we're going to go for food. But we go to different places because I'm obsessed with this place called Ahi Poki. And it's like sushi bowls. I'm going to show you what I get. But Jacob doesn't really like that filling. So we're going to go to Vapiano for Jacob because he loves pasta and stuff like that. So, and he loves pepperoni pizza. <laughs> yeah, sure. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> Didn't ask my name, did they, Runty? No. Yeah. Didn't even get to say Imogen, Imagination, Butterfly. Don't like that Starbucks, do we? No. No, we don't. So I've got this to tie me over because we're going to go and get Jacob some food first because he needs to eat. The boy needs to eat. I literally look like a London bus. That's what I look like. I'm standing in the middle to get a photo because I look like a bus. I look like one of the buses, but I'm with my baby. just found a new little news agent and listen to this my favorite drinks my snapples look at them they're in cute little cardboard cases so they're not in their little glass bottles and I love them tetra look packs. how cute they are tetra packs they're so cute I'm such a sucker for cute things but they're my favorite drinks uh, I bought some bits from Primark now I love Primark so much I feel like when you go in there you have to know exactly what you're going in for because otherwise you can actually spend a fortune Thank <laughs> you. 
my poor 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 big brother my poor angel so basically he was telling me he didn't feel very well and I just thought he was tired so I thought we'll just get home so sitting in the restaurant where I was having my food and I was like I'm just gonna book a taxi and we're gonna get the taxi got in the taxi and he was like Imogen no we need to get out we need to get out we need to get out we had to get out we were in Holborn which is really busy and he got out of the taxi just went on the floor and that was it throwing up everywhere the pasta I bought him, bloody hell, that was all over the floor, wasn't it? Jesus. But my poor angel. And honestly, when you love someone so much, you feel sick that they're having pain. Like, you want to take their pain away from them. Like, I would much rather be sick myself, and I hate being sick, than my older brother be sick. It's just the same for anyone you love. And this, the amount of people that were walking past, looking at him, staring at him. Like, not, not in a caring way. I'm sorry, I've got to vent this because it's really angered me. And I'm looking at them like, I'm going to take you all on in a minute, Huns. Like, mm-mm, my older brother's not very well. It's not like he's been on the lash. He doesn't even drink alcohol. He doesn't feel very well. He's throwing up. Sometimes, if you've got to be sick, you've got to be sick. We had to get out of the taxi. He had to throw up. Yes, this woman, she did walk past and she gave him a bottle of water. Really sweet. She came out of Leon, I think. But then this one guy, he went past and he was like, because basically I ran to get some baby wipes, I ran to get baby wipes, get some water and some Lucasade to sort of refuel what he'd lost. So he's slowly sipping this water and I'm cleaning him because obviously he's my brother and I love him. Of course I'm going to clean his sick up. So I'm cleaning him, his face and all his hands and all the sick all over, all over him. And I love the smell of baby wipes too, to be fair. And um, this guy's, he's not a baby, he can look after himself. I'm thinking, no he's not a baby but he's my baby at the moment and I'm going to look after him. I just thought, I'm going to ignore you. Jacob was like, I really don't want to stay in London, I want to go home, I want to go back to Brighton, back to Dad. So I called my dad and my dad was going to meet him halfway, so I was going to get on the train with him. Anyway, we get in another Uber, and Jacob's like, I need to get out. Well, we've had to get out at the side of the road, haven't we? Had to get out the side of the road. And the thing is, do you know what? It just angered me. It just angered me that there were people that were walking past, because if that was me, I would 100% say to someone, are you okay? Do you need any help, or do you need me to get you some water, or something like that? Because look, I'm there with him, looking after him, fine. But it still would have been nice for someone to say something like that. I don't know. I feel like that's something I would do. If I saw someone being sick, whether they're paralytic or not, or whatever, you know, this was at two o'clock in the afternoon, he just didn't feel very well. My poor angel. So then he got on the train, and the trains were all cancelled and stuff like that, but luckily he's home now. He just needs to rest and be in his own bed, but I just feel sad because he's not going to be in London with me, but I would much rather him feel okay, so he needs to just rest and relax, and there's so many weekends he can come up to London with. And he's such an angel, I swear, he was actually apologising. He was like, I'm so, 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 so sorry, like, this is an inconvenience. An inconvenience? Jacob Hudson, if you're watching this, you will never, ever be an inconvenience to me. I love you more than you will ever, ever understand in your whole entire life. If you are sick, if you are throwing up, if you are pooing yourself, I wouldn't care. I would clean you up. You're my brother, you're my best friend, you're my everything. So don't ever apologise to me again, okay? I love So basically tonight what I'm going to do is, in a way I'll probably be really productive, I'm going to get in bed, edit my skincare routine video and start editing this vlog so that way I can get some things done. I had an absolute nightmare filming my skincare routine last night. The electricity cut out halfway through the video. Yeah. I'm in pitch black, pitch darkness. So we've actually done the skincare routine over two days. Only that would happen to me though, wouldn't it? Did I just wink at the camera? Did I just wink at myself? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna sign out of the vlog now. Oh my God, this weather is amazing. I've literally woken up a little bit too late. I'm on my way now to meet my mum and my grandma and all my family for Mother's Day and we're gonna go see 42nd Street. I'm really excited about it, but I've only got half my makeup on, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup on the bus. I'm sorry, but look how cute these little shoes are with these jeans. Aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed with them. Excuse my toenails that aren't painted. Obviously it's Imogen Hudson, we don't paint much. This weather makes me so happy. Even though that is a little bit windy, but it's sunny, it's sunny. 
the Huns, I'm just chilling on one of the buses, halfway through my makeup, and he says, this bus terminates here, about 20, 25 minutes away from where I need to be. Anyway, so then I get off and I'm like, oh, why is it terminating here? And he's like, there's a march up ahead at Piccadilly Circus. And I'm like, oh, I've got to get to Piccadilly Circus. So then I get on a second bus and he says it's going to Piccadilly Circus. Well, I said to him, hon, I've just got off one bus because I've been told that Piccadilly Circus is closed. So what do you think about that? I don't want to pay and then, you know, have to get off again. He went, no, no, I'm going to Piccadilly Circus. I get on the bus, I've paid. Not even driven off anywhere and he went, just an announcement guys, there's a uh, march at Piccadilly Circus, you're going to have to get off. Thanks babe, I think I told you that about 10 minutes ago Prince. Listen, I know what my mum's like, right? I got her loads of nice presents, but I know she wants flowers and a card. But I don't really like cards that much because I tell her every single minute of the day I love her so much. But. I think older people like cards, don't they? So I went and got her a card and some flowers. But then also, I'm going to see my grandma. My grandma's taking us to see 42nd Street. So I had to get my grandma some flowers as well because I know what they're like. I know what they're like, these women. I don't really like flowers. I'm not a flower girl. I'd rather be bought like this chocolate bar that no one can find at a specific news agent. Can you boots now? Yeah. There she is behind the thing. Giving it oh no, here girls. she goes, here we go. Happy Mother's been Day! Been out since one o'clock in the morning. Been out since one. Dancing the night away. And now she's buying her mum a card. A bit late mum, isn't it? So this guy is staring at me and mum decides to have a go at him. Yeah, I said stop looking at my daughter's breast. She purr. They're not even out, there's no breast there. Grandma likes my glasses, don't you, Grandma? Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. She thinks they're very, sh what do you think they are, my glasses? Lovely, very Lovely. studious, make you look very... Studious and... Extra intelligent. Extra so intelligent. intelligent. <laughs> Extra yeah. intelligent. Yeah. Show me Piggy. Piggy, we got Piggy in London. We're in Eminem world. You can get Eminem with your name on them. I think it's so cool. Miraculous conception because I've got no baby boy on the go at the moment, that's for sure. <laughs> Marcial, Marcial, tuna baguette. You munch on that tuna. Casually putting on lip liner in prep. Grandma, what are you saying? Mum? Grandma spilled Earl Grey tea everywhere. Oh, it wasn't Earl Grey, oh, it wasn't Earl Grey, sorry. It's gone everywhere. My fluffy feet, my fluffy wet feet now. And she spilled it in my phone. She's like, I'm gonna buy you a new one. I'm like, Grandma, do you realize how expensive these phones are? I don't think you will. We were outside and there was a massive queue to get in, and Grandma was like, Mingle, mingle. We've just skipped the queue. But to be fair, when it's Grandma, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't do that normally, but Grandma just let us skip the queue, didn't we? Good old Grandma, we love a Grandma. We literally skipped about 100 people, which is walked past, and Grandma was like, just mingle, just mingle. <laughs> Amazing. It was amazing. Why did you say amazing? <laughs> the tap in that show was incredible. Oh my god. So good. Where's Grandma? Grandma? Grandma. Grandma, did you love the show? When you see a show then, you've just watched it for like two and a half hours. Mum continues to sing the songs because she wants to relive the musical. But Mum, I've listened to it. I love you. I'm done now. <laughs> I go for dinner for Mum's Mother's Day. <laughs> So excited. Hello. Hello. Don't look too excited. <laughs> I was going on and on and on about how warm it was earlier. It is frozen now. It's so windy and I've only got a denim jacket. <laughs> Me nipples are freezing. Garlic pizza bread is so much better than normal garlic bread, isn't it, Mum? Make everything feel good, I swear. It could just be normal. She's just eating her bread. No, she's going to make it dirty. <laughs> saying I've got something in my seat and I'm just like, I can't, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. 
I'm in Starbucks, so I'm not going to shout the loudest I am, but look, so I went to see my mum for Mother's Day, she got my favourite birthday, which is Armani C, and look, she got a little baby one, and I love baby things, and she gave it to me, she was up for my baby, so now I'm going to get a Starbucks frappuccino, and then I'm going to go home, and I'm going to get ready, because I'm going out tonight, definitely need to get ready, because I look like I've just rolled out of bed, it's this winter, imagination, Yay! Also, I went to pick up my ASOS package full of caftans for my holiday. Am I in focus? I'm not. Okay, Hans, so I'm ready for my night out. I don't know why I just waved because I've been talking to you all day, but I'm like, I'm back. So, because I'm wearing a red lip, I'm not actually wearing any fake eyelashes just because I feel like I don't need too much. And sometimes I like to go out a little bit more bare. Sesta's song at the moment. listen to music when you're getting ready then we can't be mates but sometimes I could wear little eyelashes but I think do you know what I'm just gonna go with this and I'm gonna do more hand gestures because apparently I just didn't do enough good morning Hans so last night was really fun actually but I stayed in the club until the lights came on that's not acceptable hence the reason this is unacceptable today so today I'm off to get my last minute bits from Ibiza probably shouldn't have left it this late but I'm gonna go to Westville because it's all under one roof that way I feel like I can get more done like when I'm on Oxford Circus sometimes I'm like on Oxford Circus in Oxford Circus you know what I mean um, sometimes I feel like it's a bit too spaced out and if it's under one roof I feel like I know exactly what I need to get done oh I'm wearing this little silver jacket today but I think it's really cute it's like a silver aviator a lot of people probably don't think it's cute, but I do, so that's all that matters, isn't it, Hans? So, I'm editing this vlog tonight, so I've got my laptop in my bag, and it's heavy, but that's how dedicated I am, so I'm going to go to Westfield, vlog all day, edit most of the vlog in Westfield, in like a Starbucks, obviously, Bay, and I've never said that word in my life, Bay, I don't think it works with me, home, edit the last bit of the vlog that I've been doing all day today, and then I'll get it up for you tonight how much I love you and also I said I'm gonna post Sunday so I don't want to let anyone down I'm not that kind of yell Holly you convinced me to pick these two up you're terrible for my bank balance also this eyeshadow color called sin from NYX is an amazing pinky highlight Vlogging in Westfield is really intimidating, like really intimidating. Everyone stares at you, everyone looks at you like you think of some sort of, sort of something special, but whatever. I need to tell you about this. When I was on the tube, there was the cutest old couple in the world. They were so cute, right? He was like, when's your birthday? Is it next Thursday or Friday? She was like, it was last Tuesday. <laughs> And she like looked at me and she was like, that's why I love him. I'm laughing to myself and people literally turn around looking at me, but I like these, but I'm not sure about the little beige bit that says Adidas. But... Okay, so I'm in Victoria's Secret and I literally want everything. By the way, I'm not listening to anything in my headphones, but when I was younger, I'll tell you something funny, I used to just put my headphones in so I didn't have to speak to anyone. Like, if anyone saw me, they'd think I was on the phone. That's so antisocial and funny, isn't it? People think I'm the most confident girl, but... Sometimes I'm a little bit antisocial. I want everything in Victoria's Secret, but we're looking for swimwear. We're looking for swimwear. Okay, so I can't even deal. I just went to Primark and oh my god, I'm actually sweating. I'm actually sweating. Um, but I need a juice or something. Let me find a juice bar. There is one upstairs. Oh my god, this is literally calling me down so much. <gasps> Top tip for shopping is, don't buy the first thing you see. Because you're going to go to other shops and maybe you'll prefer something else, then you've got to take that one back. So, what I normally do is I go into shops and I pick out options in my head. I'm like, mm, I like that. That's an option. And then if I don't find anything else that I prefer, then I'll go and buy that one. When I first, I'm blogging by the way, 
I was really concerned about the fact that I didn't have a set style. Like sometimes I want to be in trainers and jeans and a denim jacket, an oversized denim jacket, and then sometimes I want to be really glamorous, have loads of makeup on, um, fake eyelashes, you know, wear heels and stuff like that. But today I'm in a flat cap, a big aviator, and some trousers and some black boots. But tomorrow. I'll be glammed up to the nines. Oh, I feel like that's me. That is what I am. Like my whole thing, imagination or whatever. I'm allowed to do whatever I want with it. And like I like to be whoever I want to be. Like sometimes I want to be chill. Sometimes I want to be glam. And you just do you. You can do whatever you want. Wear whatever you want. That's what I always say to people. If anyone wants to start blogging and start fashion blogging, or whatever, just get into it by doing you. Don't copy other people. Because when I first started, I thought, oh god, I need to be like monochrome, you know, black and white, because that's what Instagram people like. No. You do. Sorry, but how nice these jeans. I love that detail outside. I want everything. Sorry? Sorry. serving me and she was like oh my god I follow you do you know how special that makes me feel like you don't even understand I like want to go back in just to get a photo with her because I'm like oh my god you're amazing so if you're watching this baby girl I love you the good thing about Westfield is that there's always toilets everywhere and I've got like the weakest bladder in the whole world and like when I'm out normally I know exactly where all the Starbucks all the posters are just so I can go to the toilet but now I need to do that because they're everywhere oh my god how have I managed to spend one month's rent in an hour? One whole month's rent in London in an hour. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just not even going to look at the receipts. They're like, do you want the receipt in the bag? I'm like, put it in the bag, get rid of it, throw it away, burn it. <laughs> but, you know earlier I was like, oh, I don't want those NMDs from office. I only went back and bought them, didn't I? Of course I did. But at least I shopped around and realised that they were the ones I wanted. Can't wait. Apparently they feel like socks when you wear them, so... Ah, gonna wear them on the flight. Already got my flight outfits planned. Whoop, whoop. Now I'm just gonna go to House of CB and then I'm done. Maybe I'm not done. I know I need another Starbucks though. It's calling me. Actually as well, I've literally spent like 120 Starbucks. 120 Starbucks. I've spent like... sent me some lovely bits but they haven't come yet so I went to the shop and re-bought them and then if they don't come at least I've got them and then if they do come I'll return them do you know what I mean just because I'm a warrior I worry about everything but always got a safety net there hands although my bank balance isn't a safety net right now look how cute yes you know so remember I was like get me out of Westfield, well, I'm now in Oxford Circus. That is a nice swimsuit, sorry, but oh, how cute. So I finally sat down, I finally finished shopping. I'm just in Leon now and I'm gonna have my charcoal chicken pots and I'm gonna sit down and edit. I've got an hour to get it up and edit it. So if you're watching this and I got it, I don't think I can do it. But if you're watching it and I did get it up, then I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was a bit like here and there. I didn't really know what I was doing. It was just a Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. It was meant to be more exciting because my brother was meant to be up, but he wasn't. So I hope you enjoyed it. And next vlog you'll see is when I'm in Ibiza with Sarah and Holly. So until next time, angels, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Yes, I am doing that in public.